With a better producing strain, the Northern Regional Research Laboratory was again the pioneer, conducting research that led to the production of penicillin in submerged cultures using rotating drums. Scientists used the lab's state-of-the-art pilot plant facility to scale up production and determine effective temperature, media ingredients, and aeration methods to optimize production. The similarity of this facility to the large-scale facilities used by the pharmaceutical industry allowed for a rapid transition to large-scale production. The Peoria team shared their processes and samples of their new strain with other government, academic, and pharmaceutical labs assisting in the international effort to find a way to increase production. X-ray mutant strains of the Peoria cantaloupe strain were produced by the Carnegie Institution and sent to researchers at the University of Wisconsin, where the mutant was made dramatically more productive by ultraviolet mutagenesis. The escalation of the war increased the intensity of commercial production and eventually involved more than 20 companies in the U.S., Great Britain, and Canada. By June 1944, 94 billion units of penicillin were available to help wounded Allied soldiers during the D-Day invasion and the ensuing battles. It is estimated that penicillin saved thousands of wounded Allied soldiers' lives, offering soldiers a much higher survival rate than experienced in World War I. As Robert Coghill stated in 1944, quote, the whole penicillin development has been a monumental undertaking. Its success has been due to the persistence and determination of government and industrial research workers, the vision and drive of our pharmaceutical and chemical manufacturers, and the wholehearted backing of the Army, Navy, and War Production Board." Unquote. The success of penicillin was due to large numbers of people who worked on turning Fleming's penicillin discovery into an effective antibacterial therapy still relevant today, all due to a convergence in Peoria, where mass production became possible.